So now let's see different ways to control our animation right here. So for that, let me drag in a sphere right here and let me add in a keyframe. So on the left side, let me add in a keyframe. So actually it is already added, so I don't need to work on it. So on the left side, you can see that there's a keyframe right there. Let me just drag it onto the left and then I'm gonna drag this one on to the right, just like that and order keyframe is turned on, so I don't need to work around much. So over here, you can see that there's the animation right there. So this is the default animation right there. And what I can do now is see the animation view of, the, of it. So for that, I can right click, I can go to animation and I can see the F curve right here. So that's one way to see it. And this is the curve and the other, uh, the thing that we can see over here is the dope seat right here, which is more like an After Effects scenario. So let me just close this. And to make it easier, I'm going to change the layout into animation. So I'm just going to go to animate right here. And you can see that it is more into an animation layout now. So let us go on to uh, the view mode. And I'm going to go on to the F curve mode first. So you can see that there's three keyframes added, one for the X, another is for the Y position, another one for the Z position right there. So X position, you can see that there's a bit of a curve right there, uh, just like that, and that's a smooth motion. So there's an A's out going on over here and an A's in. So if I were to play it, you can see that there's a smooth motion right here. If I want to delete this, I can simply click on this point right here, delete the keyframe out to have a single most smooth keyframe, just like this. So you can go on to the left, play the animation out, and that's how you animate it. What you can do is you can do a curve as well. So right now the value is minus 3000, and this one is around uh, plus one, 1000. So I can actually use the curve. I can use my uh, middle mouse button to actually scroll scroll up to zoom in and out on these things. I can also like um, go in left and right and so forth. So I can actually go over here and then see that like, you can zoom in and out. So you can actually drag this down and you can see that now uh, the uh, graph here actually changes just like this. So I can go over here on the Alt, click in the middle mouse, click it. You can drag this out over here as well. So just drag it onto the top right here. So we have a different type of animation. So it actually goes uh, a bit back and then it eases in out now. So once I actually use this kind of a graph. So let me play it. You can see that it bounces back and then it actually eases in out just like this in the animation once I change the graph. You want to add in a keyframe, you can actually go over here, hold control and click and there's a keyframe. So you can move around the keyframe to uh, work with the details of the motion right there. So if I were to play this out, you can see that this is how it works it out now. So that is how everything works out. And if you want to lock this out, let's say you don't want to accidentally move anything out, you can actually just lock this in. So you can lock tangent length and you can lock the uh, time itself as well. And you can also lock the uh, position right here. So you can lock the value over here as well so that you can see that everything is locked. You cannot move it up and down. If you lock this, then you cannot move it left and right. You can just move out the top and bottom just like this. So this is how you can work around with the graph right there. And these are, there are different options to actually smooth it out and so forth right over here. And these are the options to lock it down. But if you're more familiar into After Effects, you might want to work out with the Dope Seat. So for that, you can actually go over here on to the view and then there's Dope Sheet view. So for each of the uh, positions, you can see that there's something like a keyframe, kind of like what you see in After Effects. So this is the Z axis right here. So this is where it stands up. If you were to move this around, you can see that you can move the entire keyframe or you can just select one keyframe right here. And you can also go over into an individual keyframe. Uh, you can work around with all of them as well, but you can work around with individual keyframe over here as well, just like this. And these actually change just like that. So let me just go on to the simpler one, just like this. So I'm going to delete all of this, basically. I'm just going to delete the position right here. So everything is removed. So let me add in a simple keyframe right here. So I'm going to go for auto keyframe. And then on the sixth one, let me just drag this down. So I have a simple keyframe right here. So let me turn off the auto keyframe. So and right now you can see that there's the position keyframe right here on X, Y, and Z. Right now, the keyframe is till the end. And if I, would, I want to change this out, I can simply drag this out right here uh, up till 35 seconds. And you can see that the animation only is still 35 seconds. So it's kind of like keyframe in After Effects. So you wanna work around with the A's in and A's out. I prefer using uh, the 
Africa mode right here. So I'm gonna go into the Y, uh, the Z axis. Let's go for the Y axis right there. Let's zoom out. Let me just go on just like this. And then you can see the Z axis right here. It's like that. This is the total timing. Now what I can do is I can work around and play around with the settings right here. So kind of like to have a smooth animation just like this. So I have to play the sound you can see that there's a bit of a bounce going on around just like that. So that is how you can work around with the animation graphs that is the F curve and uh, the dope sheet inside of Cinema 4D. So in the further lesson, we're going to learn about uh, more about how to uh, and actually adjust these uh, keyframes. So hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.